So kelp forests are very important because the kelp forms the structure, the canopy of the forest and food for many species. If you like seafood, if you eat fish, recreational fisheries, commercial fisheries depend heavily on local kelp forests. The main task that works to restore kelp forests, and this has worked off every site off the Malibu and Palos Verdes coast in the past 16 years, is to reduce the sea urchin density to the natural levels. We overhunted the sea otter over 100 years ago for its amazing, luxurious fur. Without the sea otter, urchins can reproduce in certain areas. They can eat all the kelp in an area and just keep going to the point where you're left with that parking lot situation of urchins and rocks and very little else. And because of that, we're in a situation now where we have a lot of urchin barrens on rocky reefs in Southern California and a lot of Palos Verdes. Basically what we do on the kelp project that has worked and uses volunteer divers to do so is reduce that urchin density. One of the first things that kind of really sunk in me was seeing it change so fast. I remember the day when I could no longer recognize the rocks down there because they were covered by bryozoan, sponges, colonial tunicates, anemones, and just being lost down there was amazing to me because I had those rocks memorized. <laughs> so, so that was huge. Um, and the fact that, that it was done mostly by volunteers, people in Los Angeles who actually know about kelp forests, know about the issues of kelp forests and are willing to come out on a boat, get cold, get seasick. Uh, I took it for granted when I first started, but that is actually what continues to inspire me today. Mm -hmm.